everyone, and welcome to 1923 Main Street. Home of the Daddy Daughter Disney Travel Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bellobratic. And I'm Amelia Bellobratic. And today we're going to be in Disney for everyone's favorite season. Well, not me. Summer. Summer. Summer at Walt Disney World. You know, we're in spring now and the summer's approaching and maybe we're coming towards the end of this pandemic and people... People from outside of Florida are starting to plan Walt Disney World vacations. And if there's any luck, we may be there once again in the summer. And if you have never been in the in, if you have never been to Walt Disney World in the summer before. I recommend you bring a water bottle. Well, we're gonna talk about a lot of things that make it different than any time of year. Now, we go with the exception of last summer, 2020, every single summer, at least once, sometimes more than once. So we are Walt Disney World summer experience. Yes, we are veteran experts as vacationers, not as locals. Although that would be nice someday. But for now, uh, going there on vacation in the summer is quite different than any other season for of the year. So in this episode, we'll be sharing some of those differences and some of our tips as Disney summer travelers. First of all, and most obvious, is it is hot. <laughs> I think that's quite an understatement. It is very hot. You're on the face of the sun. How about that? You know, I'm going to start this by saying a couple of years ago, maybe three or four now, I can't remember exactly. Try five. We were there for record-setting heat. So it was 125 or something like that. I have to look back. It was scorching hot. It was so hot that the Orlando Sentinel front page said power grid strains under pressure of air conditioners. Yeah. Which, you know, it's Florida. You don't expect that to be happening a lot. They said it was hot even for them. Yeah. A cast member said, this is hot even for us. And I remember walking. We were staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge at that time. And I remember walking, we had a rent-a-car because it was the summer and we do Vero Beach uh, along with Disney World on that vacation. Yeah. So I remember walking out of Animal Kingdom Lodge to the parking lot and as soon as you stepped out the front doors, it literally felt like a sauna. So you know when you go into a sauna and you feel that intense heat, pressure, humidity hit you, like physically hit you? That's what it was like outside and I, there was a guy beside me who I didn't know, just another dad. And he said, next year we're going to Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I remember thinking, oh my, oh my gosh, if this were my first Walt Disney World vacation with my family and I was here for this week, it's just going to be a nightmare because it that kind of intense heat will have an impact on your enjoyment. Well, you know, it was different for us for two reasons. It was so much worse for me because I am always hot. Like I will wear a t-shirt in minus two degrees Celsius. So like 30 degrees and I will wear a t-shirt. And so now if it's 120 degrees, I'm not going to be fine in a t-shirt. Yeah, it was, say. it was unbelievably hot. So, but that aside, it's always very hot July and August mm. where we, when we go regularly it's hot right although so, we did have the frozen experience that well, year you know I just thought as you say that I was thinking the same thing so here's I, I did not have this as something to talk about but I'm going to throw it in as a tip if there are paid tours being offered you know COVID related some things are on hold but let's say things are back to normal or close to normal if it's that hot out try and book a tour just spend the money because we th- that year they were doing the Frozen, you know, the movie Frozen. Those people were in fur oh, coats. it was the coronation of, of uh, yeah. Anna, Elsa. Elsa. Elsa, sorry. <laughs> Wrong movie. Coronation of Elsa. And I remember, yeah, we were on a tour. So, of course, they were like doling out literally to us. So we were in a little roped off area for the event. And there were other things, dessert parties and all that. But. It was sort of out in the sun and they brought umbrellas for us and all the regular guests were standing there just dying in the heat and they were giving us... We had hand fans. Frozen lemonade and all the Mickey frozen junk you could eat, right? And and water and all that sort of stuff. I got so tired from the hand fans. And I, I remember feeling so bad for those families who were just waiting for this parade, sitting out unsheltered in the sun in Hollywood Studios. That's where it was. For an hour at least. So I felt bad for those performers in fur coats. Yeah, they were wearing My fur goodness. coats in 125 degrees. <laughs> so it is worth, if you 
if you're in an extreme like that extreme, we're going to talk about always hot in Florida, yeah. but that kind of extreme, book a tour Please. and you're going to... You're, you know, the little extra pampering will make it so worthwhile, especially if you had young, if you have young kids Your with kids you. Your kids will thank you for yeah, it. and you'll thank yourself for it because it's going to take pressure off <laughs> yeah. you. So it's always hot, though, in Florida in the summer. It's Florida in the summer. But we, I love going in, you know, I love going in the summer. I don't mind the heat. We now know yeah. the tips and tricks to make the most of the heat. It's a nice warm-up from the freezing 30 degrees Celsius in Canada. Well, not in the summer. Yeah, that's Oh, sorry, 30 degrees Celsius. Yes. the whole joke. Well, Sheesh. Yeah, so if you don't know Celsius, 30 is what? I don't know, 85, 90, whatever it is. It's hot and it's hot here. <laughs> in, the, in fact, sometimes we come home back to Toronto, Canada, and it's hotter here than it is in Florida. But when it, has that ever happened? It's happened a few times, a couple of years ago. It was 97 here and it was 95 there. So it is hot here in the summer, but we're not walking around the pavement for eight hours in a Disney park. So tip number one, schedule your day appropriate to that heat. And that means our regular tip. Purchase a spritzing water bottle with a built-in fan. No, get there first thing in the morning. Oh, well, yes. That too. Yes, actually. Okay, so two things. Schedule your day like this. This is my recommendation. Go in the, the mornings, late afternoon into the evening are obviously going to be your cooler times of day. You do not want to be in the parks unless you're prepared for it or if you have little kids or something, between, you know, noon and three or four even. Make that back at the hotel, pool time, relax. Even sitting in your room in the AC or in a lounge somewhere if that's what it takes. But you don't want to power through an eight-hour day in the heat in Florida in the summer. You're not going to enjoy it. So there's plenty of things to do. We've talked about tons of them on other episodes. We have an episode on how to keep cool somewhere back in our catalog, so look that one up. But... It's important to schedule your day. And yes, the little Mr. Things with the fan. <laughs> Silly little thing, but... I've wanted to purchase them for three years. Well, or buy one at home and it'll be half the price. Unless you do want a nice it's Disney, Disney one. It's Disney branded. Yeah, if you want Disney branded, get one there. But they do make a difference. So there are... One, so let's talk about that. One of the things I was going to talk about is a lot of the parks have misting stations. Oh, yeah. My favorite is the, the Tiki Misters in Adventureland <laughs> in the Magic Kingdom, but... There's cool stops in other places, too. I think the Tomorrowland has misting stations as well. So, you know, you want to just take a second to keep your cool in that way. Cool off, put your kids up there, hold them in front of the misting stations. This is why air-conditioned rides are ever so popular on these hot summer days. Always be aware of the impact that heat can have. You know, you don't want to get sunstroke, and it does happen. And I have to say, on that note, summer is the... Only time that I can remember, there may have been others, but where I do see paramedics in the Disney parks tending to people. So the heat will get to to those of us who are not natives or not used to it, right, if you're not local. So just keep it in mind. It's no joke, especially when it's a super heat wave like we had that year. And then parades. Consider, like I was talking about, do you really want to sit out for two hours to wait for a parade? Or... Give up on the idea of getting that front row seat. So just keep these things in mind. Or carry an umbrella. And I've talked about the little parasol stand by the Christmas shop in Liberty Square in the Magic Kingdom. This is when you might want to buy one of those cool little Mary Poppins This is when parasols. you want to buy one all the time. I think they're mostly white colored. They're you not just black. just have parents too. that are saying that it's a waste of money. I don't say it's a waste of money if it's unless you buy it with your allowance. But those little white... Really nice parasols. They're parasols. They're really cool. Uh, umbrellas. I want to purchase one. I, mean, I that also would be want good. to purchase don't, a spitzer. Don't be rude and hold it in front of someone's face when the parade is on. But it's good while you're sitting there waiting for the parade if you want to. If you're insistent on getting a front row seat and you want shade, you can get one of those nice little souvenir parasols. And they're quite nice. Parasol. Parasol. Not parasail. Parasol. parasol. It's a French Sol. word. An umbrella. And of course, obviously, stay hydrated. Bring a water bottle or... Ask for free water at any quick service. They'll give you ice water. One of those water bottles with a built-in fan. Well, I don't know if you can really drink out of that. Spritz it in your mouth. It's mist. It's not going to be very thirst quenching. But then you come home and you have a special souvenir that you can also use to help your cat. Or you can just buy yourself a frozen treat. (laughs) Now, remember, on these days is when you're going to see. So a lot of it, the thing about summer in Florida is that... This is when the millions of ice cream sales start happening. Yeah, so 
all these things. Oh, I'll just get it. Well, there's lineups everywhere. So for example, Plaza Ice Cream Powder, there's going to be lineups out the door. Every ice cream stand has a lineup. So just, you know, it's hot in the summer. Be aware that to keep cool, you may have to wait. So it's always good to pack a reusable water bottle or something with you. This is one of the few times I'll carry something into the parks or have Amelia or Aaron carry it for me. (laughs) Even better. So stay hydrated. Definitely stay hydrated. Don't let your kids go without drinking, even if they don't ask for it. Just make them take drinks. It's really important. And and along those lines, frequent air conditioning stops, Mm -hmm. right? This is the one time you won't mind waiting in a three-hour line for Rock and Roller Coaster. Well, here, here's the thing I want to talk about. This is sort of one of my tips, and it may not be obvious to you if you haven't been in a hot Disney World visit like this before. You know, what's the obvious attractions? Everyone thinks, oh, it's so hot today. I'm going to go on Splash Mountain, or I'm going to go on Cali River Rapids. No, no, no. Well, so is the rest of the park. Yeah. Everybody everybody and their uncle or whatever that expression is thinks the same thing those will have the longest lines so if fast passes are back and you happen to have one or something like that but otherwise and you make you make yourself accustomed to the heat and you go to the air-conditioned rides this is our tip and there's two recommended rides for those sunny days let everybody or let everybody else go wait in the mega line for the water rides and make your way to either. I have a few for each park. Well, my favorites for Magic Kingdom are the Haunted Mansion. And Space Mountain. No. And what? Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm, I would go Space Mountain. So Haunted Mansion is nice and cool. But the best part is when you come around out of the library at the beginning and you make a right turn. And oh, you face you the blown. hallway. The cool, cool chills or whatever his line is, it is so, I can feel it right now. It's so hot outside and you'll go, yes, it's right by that yes. spooky clock. Uh, but the and whole get, ride will give you. And you literally get chills. Yeah, you get a f- blast of AC right on you and it feels so good when it's 100 degrees outside. I like it anytime. <laughs> you'll especially yeah. like it in the summer. And, and the, But the whole ride is nice and cool. And the other one is... That mommy and I, before before you were born on our Disney trips, we would head right to Pirates of the Caribbean because it's underground. It is so cool. There was a year before they started these forced fast passes. Even before fast passes, nobody would go on Pirates. It was always empty until they started forcing people on with their fast pass trios. Uh, but we would go on it two, three times in a row on those hot summer days just to cool down. So it's really nice. It's a great, because it's underground, and also you go through a little bit of mist and stuff. Pirates of the Caribbean is another good one. Now, what are your favorite rides? I, you I like could, space? I like Space Mountain because the entire line is inside I find that it can still sometimes be warm in there. It doesn't seem to be as cold as other places. Although yeah. you do get a wind from the actual ride, but it's over so fast. I think Space Mountain because I I always remember uh, sometimes when it's I remember when it's cold outside. One time I went in there and it was even colder, and I was like, oh, "Why is it so cold?" And I always freeze in Space Mountain. Hmm. Okay. It's weird. Well, I good. always freeze in there. Another one for me in that park, not AC, but is Tom Sawyer Island. Oh yeah. I mean, it's all shade, so it's a really really great place to. First of all, it's a great place to go all the time. Classic original Disney. Yeah. Designed by Walt himself, at least the one in California was before he passed away. But it's all trees, right? And there's lots of fun stuff to do and there's playgrounds for the kids, but you can chill in shade, which is so rare and hard to find in some Disney parks. At least that much shade. So definitely head to Tom Sawyer Island. And if you buy a frozen tree and then you head over to Tom Sawyer Island to eat it, that is probably your idea of a perfect Disney day. Yeah, it's great that way. (laughs) So basically, summer, heat. So one thing when you think of Florida in the summer. I want to talk about one thing in Magic Kingdom before we can, then we can talk about other parks if you have yeah. ideas. But so in all my years of Disney travel, here's where I think is the coldest spot, the coldest single spot that you can be at Walt Disney World. And it is in Crystal Arts in the art room the on, on, on Main Street, but it's specifically in the Crystal Art Shop, on the which is on the right side of the street next to the jewelry yeah. store. It's where the art is and original art and stuff. When you enter that to the right, sort of right back corner towards the right on the right wall, just near where there was a Sorcerers in the Magic Kingdom, although that's going away, there is one spot 
where the AC blows out of a vent. I mean, if you, oh my, if you stand I can there, feel it now. Yeah, it is ice cold, and freezing air. So, if you need a cold shot, go into that store and find that spot. And it is it is Mike's recommendation for the single coldest spot to stand in all of Walt Disney World. Ooh, don't do that. Don't talk about yourself in the third person. Oh, why isn't, <laughs> it, isn't that cool? No. no, it is my then. How about my recommendation? Yeah, yeah. So the, my that's my Crystal Arts. Ice cold shot. And have, it's quite cold even when it's cold outside. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and when it's cold outside or, or when you're wet, you've been Ooh. rained on. Uh, yeah, so, and another thing, parks in general, they do all have splash pads of varying degrees. Now, there's Casey Jr. in the Magic Kingdom, which is almost a full-on splash pad. So if you want your kids to go and just get wet and you can even sneak in there yourself and get a little mist and wet, just make sure they have a change of clothes or some sort of shoes that aren't going to get wrecked, but... You know, if you want to cool off, you can. And even in Epcot, there's those little sort of foot ones where you can get your feet cold. They don't shoot that high, but, you know, cooling your feet will cool you off. The kids the kids can have more fun in them. Even Disney Springs has one of those, right? And that little shoots the yeah. water you can walk through. So there are little many ways to cool off. I think I think it's important, honestly, is sometimes it's just so hot that it rains. Oh, I was going to get into that. But <laughs> did you want to talk about other cool spots in other parks? So, I don't know have? why you're just talking about the Magic Kingdom. Because stores everywhere, except for Animal Kingdom, I think Animal Kingdom is the worst park to be yeah. in when it's hot. That's true. So it is a good tip. Even if you don't want to shop, just go into store. You know, you will know when you're overheating. So if you're overheating, if you're feeling hot, go into any one of the stores. Hopefully the AC will be pounding as it usually is in Florida, especially in the summer. And just cool off. Give yourself five, even five minutes in that air conditioning yeah. makes a huge difference because most lines are outside or many. They're not all sheltered or indoors or air conditioned, at least not the whole line. Sometimes you can be waiting outside before you get into the AC. Yeah. So cool off in the shops. But I, th- my problem is I don't think I have a single spot for Animal Kingdom. I have spots for uh, all three other parks, but not Animal well, Kingdom. Well, some of the shops in there, it's the same thing. There's just not as many of them. Yeah. And they're not... They get a- more crowded. They get more crowded. They're also more open, which is part of the sort of yeah. market feel that they're going for in Animal Kingdom. It's mm-hmm. the it's just the main ones in Discovery Island around the Tree of Life area that are the largest and will be the coolest. Yeah. Most of the other ones... Are open now. You can go on Nemo or Festival of the Lion King and be indoors and get a break. Yeah, but that's true. You might have to wait unless Fast Passes come back. Yeah, but I think for Epcot, I would say Spaceship Birth because even yes, good call. Because even though the outside most of the line is outside, once you get in there, because the ride's pretty long too. Yeah, it is cool. And the end of the line, it's so as it's, in temperature. Cool. Yeah, it's oh. And regular cool. Yeah, and regular But it's, cool. it's yeah, so, enough. like, it's chilling, and I just, oh. <laughs> I'm getting this and odd over thing at about Hollywood. It. Hollywood has... Rockin'. A, yeah, but there's a long outside line up those stairs before yeah. you get in. So I, I can feel myself right now going, oh, God, when are we going to get to that door? And then when you're through the door... When you're through the door, it's yeah. It's not very long, though. Like, when you're you through get that... To, you get the show, yeah, and you... The, there's, there's a longer wait outside than inside, unless yeah. you're a single rider or fast pass come back. But you know, um, what's it called? Smuggler's Run. That's that's a pretty good one, also, because the majority of that line is inside. Yeah, that's true. And also, do you get the blue milk because you're in Galaxy's Edge? Now, most of Toy now Story Land thinking. is outside, so yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Actually, uh, Way Mania. That's not. Mm, it's got some outside. It's a bit, but, but you know what? Just be per- just the. I guess the bottom line is think about these things, even when you're planning on where yeah. to go, because it is hot, and excruciating at times in the summer. So it's different than other times of year when you, yeah. you know, if you go in the fall, spring, winter, you don't have to think about this at all. It's perfect temperatures, especially in the fall and the spring. Yeah. Now you mentioned the thing that I find personally that most visitors, travelers who have not gone in the summer before don't know is the rain. Oh. So Orlando and Florida generally, but in the summer, it's pretty much going to rain or have a chance of raining every, every day. single day from afternoon to early evening. It's, and these can be violent thunderstorms. This is my summer problem. So sometimes I stay don't off recommend- that skyliner, which I not a fan of anyway. I wouldn't want to be trapped on that in one of these rainy and hot I days. Don't recommend wearing ruffles. 
those few ruffles and then they get wet and then they just stick. And yeah, just... we've had our share of complete Ugh. drenchings. But th- this goes back to when I was talking about morning, late afternoon, evening. So morning is probably your... Morning is okay, yeah. It's the best guarantee you will have for weather and heat during the summer. And I remember one time it was raining so hard that we literally, the shelter was to go up against like one of those, they were doing construction and some of yeah, the that papers, the that was shelter. It was raining lot. that hard. Yeah, we got we got off the tram and we just got caught in a, in a long walk. It in was the, the Skyliner construction was underway, so the trams could not get to their normal spot closer to the gate. Once again, the Skyliner ruined my day. However, we then did go on Tower and Terror in that scary Tower stormy weather. Tower and Terror. Tower of Terror in the scary oh. stormy weather. So. Well, that, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, fun. Tower of Terror, another cool ride. Yeah, but it's got a long outside line through the garden. So a lot of these depend on whether you're in standby or not. Yeah. If you have that, a fast pass, then that's, yeah, that's, that's great. true, actually. But please be aware of that of weather, the stormy weather. It'll affect your trip. Because you can go, we've actually blown off a lot of evening activities because it just starts pouring rain. So no in advance, Yeah, you may have the best laid just plans of all, but if you're going in July or August. Try to book in the morning. Yeah. The afternoons are going to be up in the air for you because a big Florida rainstorm can blow in and just change your plans for you. And sometimes you just might stay in your bungalow because and you know, it's pe- better than going to Animal Kingdom in the rain. Yeah, our bungalow. <laughs> Love the bungalows. But people are going to say, oh, ponchos. Well, let me tell you. Sticky, wearing, wet, plastic yeah. ponds. Ugh. Putting on plastic saran wrap when it's 120 degrees out and humid. It's not the best choice, uh, I got to say. I would rather get wet. I you know do. My, I do. But I just can't wear. It's so hot. It's like torture. Whereas mommy will wear hers. That's so, why, once again, for the last three years, I've been wanting to purchase an adorable raincoat. The delish one, but no. Yeah, I mean, a raincoat no. actually may be. But it's the same thing because it's so hot and humid and you're putting on plastic, right? So it's just, there's no easy way around it. The whole point of this episode is if you have not been in the summer before, there's a lot of things to be aware of about the weather and how they will affect your trip. That's fair. That's So the fair. heat is one thing. You can deal with the heat, but the... Heat and rain is pretty hard to deal with. Your Our idea is just to avoid it now. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go to Animal Kingdom when it's thunder and lightning, and a lot of things are down. They stop running boats. Only the buses will be running. Ugh. You know, anything can happen. So everybody's piling on the buses, so now you're in a bus line with a 1,000 people, that sort of thing. I do want to say, you just brought up a good point, although it rains every single time we go to Animal Kingdom, and when we when you go as much as we do, because we do go a lot, if it is raining and you have to miss something, you're not missing it forever. I do think it would be different. If this was your one trip, though, I think that's a good point, because since we go as much as we do, we can afford to skip things, whereas if this was like your one trip that you'd booked for ages, you might not want to do as much. Well, and this is why I'm saying it in advance. If you're planning on going this yeah. summer for the first time in the summer, just have that in mind so that, you know, as we're trying to help you out here, yeah. you can think about planning it. And even maybe if you have younger kids old enough to understand things, you sort of warn them, ah, it might, rains a lot in the summer, just so they know if it happens. So oh, remember we said this was going to happen. So, but make sure you get yeah. your most best things. <laughs> For first thing in the morning. Yeah. Th- that will be your best chance. And sometimes you can't, but try. But yeah, also, try. you know where it, I think is the coldest place? Where? The buses. Oh, good call. They are freezing. And it almost works against you in that freezing because immediately when you said that, I pictured myself soaking wet. Freezing cold. <laughs> freezing and cold. literally chilling to ice. So yeah, you come out of 120 degrees wet from a rainstorm, you get on a Disney bus where it's 45 degrees <laughs> and you start shivering. So, And then you want to get warm outside again. So it's crazy. You know what? But we, lo- I say all this, but I love it. Love going in the summer. It's hot. People are more irritable. So bear that in mind. Your kids may hit the wall. So bear that in mind. So, yeah. Don't get mad at your kids don't if they're irritable tr- in the summer. Try not to anyway. Don't get mad at your kids and if they're irritable. And don't forget... Pool time. Yes. I mean, we recommend giving your yourself and your kids and everyone in your family pool time any time of year when it's decent Florida weather, but especially when it's hot in the summer. 
head back to the hotel. They'll close the pools if it's thunder and lightning. Yeah, but, but if it's not thunder and lightning, swimming in the rain is awesome. Get yourself a umbrella chair or a cabana if you want to blow some money and <laughs> let the kids have fun in the pools or water parks. Water parks yes. in the summer are great. Now they Once do, again, they do get busy. Thunder and lightning. Yeah. If that does happen, yeah. they will shut them so down. So again, go in the morning if you want to do a water park on a hot day. <laughs> but or, they're literally always closed in the afternoon, like all yeah, the time. Yeah, they shut down in the, in the stormy weather. So that's sort of, all these things are things to bear in mind for a Walt Disney World vacation in the summer. And you know, when they were choosing Florida, uh, having only had Disneyland, they were well aware. Were that, they? Yes, they were. That weather was, you know, Florida versus California. California's pretty temperate. It does get hot there. We've had some pretty hot California summers it's recently. It's not out of the question. Don't tell me climate change isn't happening. It is, there's been hotter and hotter years, even where we live. So if you think Canada's the great white north, come in the summer to <laughs> Toronto and you'll be close to 100 degrees. But Florida, in this, they were aware of the weather. So, you know, they planned for not only hurricanes, but, oh, yeah. that's another thing. Florida summer into the fall. Hurricanes do or can happen. And, and Disney World They've has never been hit. happened to us yet. when we were there. It has once. What? You were very, very young. I'm sorry. Uh, wait, what? Well, it didn't It didn't pan out. It, it ended up missing it. We were at the Polynesian. In fact, it, yeah, it was one of your earlier trips and we got the warning in our room. Here is the hurricane protocol. They will keep you locked in your room and there's a lot of things. You won't be able to move anywhere, well, really. Well, that's for safety. Yeah, but I'm just saying... I'm sorry, pardon me? Uh, what? What? I'm just saying that hurricanes are... And one did hit, as you recall, remember, two, three years ago. Yeah, but we were A direct there. hit. No, we weren't. But Orlando, what I'm saying is Walt Disney World can be hit by hurricanes. They built it, all the buildings, the structures to withstand hurricane force winds. Yeah, they are but, hurricane But safe. trees come down and there was quite a bit of damage a few years ago, especially to trees. But we were there and it, it ended up missing us. Yeah. But we still got a lot of bad, cloudy, rainy weather from the fringes of yeah. it. But it is another thing to bear in mind. So I guess the moral of the story is, as we come to the end of our 30 minutes of Disney magic, that Florida in the summer has the most things that are hard to plan for due to weather. But you just have to be prepared. And, you know, hurricanes do happen, but sometimes they miss. And I th they are built to withstand it. And I think it only hit when it was really bad. I think that was Irma a few years ago, which yeah, was really, which really one, bad. Yeah, it ended up carving inland right there. But it's, you know what? Knowledge is power. So we're hoping that through this episode, we've just made you aware. If you've never mm -hmm. visited Walt Disney World in the summer before, that you're going, okay, I got it. You but, can go to Disney Springs in the rain. Yeah, Disney Springs is a That's good... That's a fun place to go to the rain well, also. I, you, you say that, but you and Mummy are cowering in the hotel room, and I go I by myself out in the rain because I don't care. I'm going to enjoy my Disney vacation even if it's raining. So. That was when I thought I was going back in a few months. Have my spirit, people. Have my spirit. This was when I thought that I was going back. No, no. This and was before the last no, one. No, no, no. done it. And it's usually when we're staying at Saratoga Springs because no, you, you can walk over. But I remember you went out in the rain and this was when I thought I was going back in a few months. COVID. Yes. Really? So the moral of the story is don't let the rain shut everything yeah. down. I feel right? like we've just been bashing the summer and saying it's a no, horrible time to I go. I love going in the this summer. No, time. I'm not. I'm just saying if you've never been before and you think that you're planning a perfect vacation from morning to night with all these things, there's a good chance that many of your afternoon things, at least on a few days, are going to get thrown out of whack due to weather. I like going in the summer and I know we've been I love bashing going it the for the past like 25 or 30 minutes, but it is, it is a fun time to go. No, it's a great time to go. If you just, you know, it's, it's different. Every season is different. And we've only been saying the bad things and there's so many good things that are there. Well, the good things are good for all year round. Yeah, but there's so many good things about going in the summer because the kids are off school and there's just so many pluses that I almost And think we always see our sort of Brazilian and South American friends in the summer. I think they, they tend to go. So if you're listening from Brazil, confirm that for us. We There's lots of Brazilians and South Americans in the summer, whereas we see more of our friends from the UK during our spring vacation. So we sort of get to know. Because they get enough of rain. In yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get enough rain. We feel for you. 
All right, everyone. So we hope this helped. If you're planning a summer vacation, absolutely go. We're not saying don't go. We're just saying be aware that, you know what? In these fact, are... I'm saying go. Yeah. It's, it's warm weather, well, whereas March can be cold. We're going. So, yeah, we always go. We go every summer. That's why we just wanted to share some of our experiences with you. It's and not even that go. bad. There's been a few bad experiences, but that's with everything. It's just to be aware of, especially if yeah. you have young kids. Yeah. So they're not disappointed or overheated. But overall, it's a great time to go. It's a great time. Any time is a great time to go. <laughs> it is true. It's like, which COVID vaccine should I get? The first one you can. It's like, when should I go to Disney World? Whenever, Whenever you, you can. can. <laughs> right? There's no bad time. If you can go, go. All right. We're going to wrap this one up now. Thanks so much for listening. Follow along on social media at 1923 Main, Main Street. Street. And interact with us. We'd love to hear your thoughts, comments, and show ideas. So thanks, everyone. Have a magical day and a magical week, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.